dan uh, Datuk Seri sebagai uh, Ketua Pembangkang akan memberi uh, speech pada hari Selasa. Jadi apa pun uh, per permintaan oleh uh, Karpal untuk mendapatkan penangguhan seminggu adalah sangat-sangat munasabah. Dan cara hakim ingin uh, rush untuk dapat mendengar mitigasi uh, secepat mungkin dalam satu jam adalah sangat luar biasa. Untuk kes seperti Sodomi, bukan kes uh, teroris dan sebagainya. Kes biasa. Kes biasa yang boleh dilakukan dalam mana-mana mahkamah. Jadi persoalan uh, Karpal tadi ialah kenapa hakim-hakim sedang rush? Apa-apa jawapan? Dia tak jawab. You nampak sangat tak menjawab soalan ini. Uh, kita lihat uh, dua minggu lepas uh, Karpal sendiri telah disabitkan kesalahan untuk akta hasutan dan mahkamah telah beri uh, dua minggu untuk menja uh, apa ni, mendengar hujahan untuk uh, hukuman. Uh, jadi ini nampak sangatlah luar biasa dalam kes ni. Dari awal sehingga sekarang kita melihat cara uh, mereka menangani dan nampak sangat ketidakadilan dari semua segi. Kalau boleh English sikit lah bagi Uh, oh, okay. Um, the manner in which uh, the whole uh, the proceedings of the court indicates there's a serious, serious uh, injustice going on. Uh, serious questions are asked why the court is rushing. Uh, defense lawyer Karpal has actually asked uh, why is the court rushing to, to sentence and why is the court not ready even to give a very short week of one week uh, when the court uh, has been informed that Karpal himself and Anwar Ibrahim himself have to attend parliament uh, next week, convene for the first time for the year, uh, where they will have to hear the speech of the, uh, of the king. And Anwar Ibrahim as opposition leader has to give a speech on Tuesday. So all they asked was very short week uh, on Friday to be able to prepare for the mitigation. Yet the court has rejected it and agreed with the uh, AMNO lawyer Shafi uh, to uh, deal with it, despite the fact it's five o'clock, to deal with the, uh, the mitigation uh, immediately in an hour's time. This is highly, highly improper, uh, highly, grossly unjust, uh, unjust on the part of the, of the court to do this. After all, they took a very short time to reverse an acquittal decision. Normally, court convenes very fast to affirm a decision of a high court because they will not uh, disturb the decision of a high court. But in a case of reversing, they should have taken more time. So it is unusually high for a court to reverse uh, an acquittal in such a short time and on top of it, refuse to give any time for the defence to prepare. And at 5 o'clock, you are ready to go on. What is that What is that uh, reason for? That's, that's the question we are asking. You can take a week or two weeks. There's no issue because uh, this is an, an issue of a person who has been acquitted all this while and he's been here all this while and you just uh, put another date for, for, for uh, the decision of menjatuhkan hukuman basically to 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 wait for the sentencing so this is this is a completely uh, uh, you know real mockery of justice uh, persoalan tu kalau kita lihat dengan semua soalan kenapa dia disegerakan kenapa hakim uh, tidak ingin memberi sedikit pun uh, ruang untuk pihak uh, peguam uh, untuk menyediakan diri untuk uh, kita saya tak payah jawab soalan itulah uh, memang jelas uh, ada ter, uh, satu uh, agenda tersirat di sini uh, untuk memastikan mereka boleh frustrate uh, dan mem, uh, memastikan bahawa uh, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim tidak menjadi uh, 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 apa, layak untuk sebagai calon pada pada hari penamaan. Nampak sangat itu tujuannya. Ah, repeat lagi. No, nampak sangatlah cara mereka. Oh, in English. Okay. Uh, it is very clear now that uh, the manner in which they have pushed and uh, sought and got a conviction out of this appeal uh, just before uh, the 11th uh, of March, which is the date that is fixed for nomination. Um, it is very clear that there was an agenda to frustrate uh, from Anwar Ibrahim uh, running as a as a assembly person and uh, his potential to be uh, a Menteri Besar if there is any. So the manner in which it's done is very clear there's an agenda. There's a hand behind this whole thing. Um, they, they, they could have called for a by-election much earlier, but they, that also unusually a long time, enough for them to do this before they, they start with the, with the nomination day. So 
this is, these are questions that has been asked before, and today, by the swift uh, reversal of the acquittal, you can see that it's been answered. Why? Why all these things? Especially when we had found out from the registrar that uh, earlier on, uh, last week, before the case management on the 28th, the registrar had called the uh, lawyers from Karpal's office and said, block 7 till 10 of April, which is fine. And yet, all of a sudden, on the 27th, uh, the lawyers were called and told that come on the case management and be, pre be prepared to go on on the 6th and 7th, which is today, uh, yesterday and today. Despite uh, protests by Mr. Karpal, who had said that he has got other cases going on, the judge herself, Azia Ali, presided over a case management, which again is an unusual thing because normally for case management is the registrar or the deputy registrar who sits. But in this case, they took a, 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 a special pains to make sure that it is the judge herself presides and fix the date on the 6th and 7th. So you can see every possible tactic has been moved to make sure that the conviction is gotten out of this appeal. This, this was a clear case of uh, courage justice. And that's the saying, justice hurried is justice buried. For the whole of this thing, you honestly put under pressure, which has not happened before. For the first time, the federal court said, after 4.30, at least as far as my experience is concerned. I'm without a robe because I came here to file the application and I was dressed only with the suit and tie. Well, this matter is under appeal now. I can't say very much as a lawyer, unfortunately. But what has been done is a privacy of justice. Or the judge in the middle, who has said that uh, a medical report is not necessary under the circumstances of this case, for the purposes of medication, is something unthought of. I hope, I hope what has happened will not be repeated because the international community is watching us. In fact, there were representatives from various uh, international organizations, including the ICJ, who have watched at first 10 proceedings in court. I hope that this will not be repeated, as I said. I can't say much, unfortunately. So for the moment, I, I think I'll leave it there. Okay. Uh, clearly, a blatant disregard for the facts of the case and the law. I, on behalf of my family, Aziza and the family and colleagues, must express our profound gratitude for the brilliant performance of Karpal, Ram and the team. But unfortunately, the judges were not concerned about the facts and the law. Clearly, they were working under instructions. You look at the way they um, manage and uh, rush through the case and uh, even having less patience with my counsel, particularly Ram, in the, on uh, the first day. And what was shocking during the period of mitigation, for him to state, probably subconsciously, that this is a peculiar case. Um, the term used was uh, this case is different. The circumstances, Under, of this this circumstances. Case. Uh, the circumstances of this case is different. Therefore, we they, we cannot wait for the medical records of Anwar Ibrahim. We have Najib's personal lawyer, Shafi Abdullah, referred to by the council as a mercenary, vicious, using the court to malign. No on the substantive argument of the law. We will, of course, appeal. But I think it is a clear signal to the people of Malaysia. They are not interested about the economic malaise or 
endemic corruption, rising crime, but they are focused on killing, politically assassinating political opponents. Today, Anwar, 11th Karpa Singh. So I think it is time that we warn Najib and his team and the arrogant AMNO leadership that they must be prepared to face the wrath of the people. As far as Kajang is concerned, is very much on track and I will appeal personally to our friends in Kajang because this is clearly an attempt to deny me. That's why they have to have it now. See the fear and I have anticipated what was said by Najib, Muhyuddin, Mahathir, Daim, the fear that we once we get in, then that's the end of Amno. So they want to end Anwar's political career. But I think they are not, they, they have underestimated the wrath of the people. They are not God. And I believe, inshallah, in the wisdom of the people. Thank you very Pardon? Of course, dari, dengan keputusan ini saya dinafikan. Ini tujuannya. Mahkamah Rayuan diperalatkan oleh Datuk Seri Najib untuk menghalang kemarahan rakyat di Kajang dan di Selangor dan seterusnya ke Putrajaya. Sebab itu gila-gila hakim. Kalau kalau hakim Aziah tu nampak macam tak tahan, sampai terjerit-jerit. Hakim apa macam itu? Hakim menunjukkan kebijaksanaan, kesabaran, dengar dan uh, cara mereka mengendalikan uh, mahkamah ini dan nak putuskan segera hari ini juga selalunya kalau nak reverse keputusan awal mahkamah tinggi dia ambil masa dia tak ada kerana arahannya skripnya mesti hari ini kerana Isnin perasmian parlimen oleh Pertuan Agong Selasa penamaan calon dia tak boleh sabar tak boleh tunggu kerana ikut skrip saya dah bagi tahu pada peguam uh, YB Karpal Singh kita akan uh, kebukakan rayuan ke mahkamah persekutuan uh, ikut prosesnya uh, dan uh, kita kerana kita yakin dengan fakta malah meng, uh, keputusan ini mengejutkan semua orang anggap ini hanya soal teknikal yang boleh kita patahkan dengan mudah tetapi nyata dengan uh, keangkuhan kuasa sekarang terima kasih banyak ya tu kita akan bincang kemudian The international community is watching us. In fact, they are representatives from various organizations from abroad. We are watching, in fact, who saw at first hand the proceedings in court. And what has happened does not uh, give a good image of uh, the country uh, to the foreigners. Uh, unfortunately, he can't. You have the amendment to the federal constitution. <laughs> Therein, uh, once you uh, once you are convicted, that is it. Then you can't be nominated. And uh, what about his? Uh, he was uh, also attempting to contest for the PKR president. That also. Uh, uh, Yeah, under the Societies Act, uh, there could be certain restrictions. Because once uh, you're convicted under the Societies Act, you can't hold office. Okay, what is next after this? What's well, we are filing the notice of appeal. We, we have, of course, 14. Four, it's 14. Uh, it's a criminal matter. It's not a petition, I think. Uh, 14 days uh, we have, but we, uh, we have given an undertaking that we will be filing it on Monday itself, which we will do Monday. on Monday. On Monday, and by 11 uh, a.m., all formalities relating to the bail must be uh, complied with here. Huh? Yes, he has to be present. He has to be present to. Uh, sign the bail bond and so forth. So uh, unfortunately, yeah. I don't think so. He must come with a surety. 
Yeah, we, he's another impression, is it? No, 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 I think he has to come. No indication. No indication. They have to give a written. They did indicate they will be, they have to anyway. Once we file uh, an appeal, uh, then the judgment must be written. No, 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 that's not, you see, they should have uh, retired, carefully considered, after all, the factors, you know, before them, in particular, the uh, uh, medical report. A medical report is uh, sometimes the mainstay of uh, a plea in mitigation. I was surprised the uh, judge says that uh, under the circumstances, a medical report was not uh, necessary. Under the circumstances of that case, yeah. Is that common? No, no, no. We are given, uh, in my experience, uh, we have been given all the time the opportunity to put in. Uh, huh? It has never happened for you to, like, not allow, I mean, for them to. They, no, no, normally it's allowed. It, normally, normally it is allowed. So it's it, never it, happened in your experience. And yeah, it, it is very relevant, you know. It's very relevant. If a person is, uh, you know, suffering, for example, from cancer, and he is sentenced by the court. You, you put up a medical report. Yeah. Yeah. The positive thing is that yeah. they are allowed to stay on the bail. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that uh, I was a little surprised. <laughs> a little surprised with that. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Consolation. <laughs> that's every, right. Every, but can we reserve uh, a bail at any time? No, 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 no. As long as the conditions of the bail are complied with, they can't. Okay. Isn't it by your Kaminana? Huh? Isn't it by your Kaminana? 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 Is